Skill News at 11. A weekend fire has forced the American Legion on Bull Street and the Betty Bombers restaurant to close for the time being. Now employees are left scrambling to keep two other businesses going. WJCL's Brandon Lavornia spoke to the owner of Betty Bombers and employees. He has the latest. Betty Bombers has only been open for a little more than two years. The owners say it could be weeks, maybe a month until they reopen. The fire is affecting more than just that business. Mary Crumling has worked at Betty Bombers almost since it opened. She was one of the last people to leave the building Saturday morning. I had been here uh, until about 3 o'clock in the morning the night before. She was horrified when she saw fire crews putting out the fire just hours later. I sat around and waited with everybody else until we could get in and see how bad it was. That was probably the hardest part was waiting to see, you know, how, how bad. The owners are forced to close the restaurant down for the time being. Seth Musler owns Betty Bombers. Catastrophic. It's amazing how much heat comes off one of those fires. The fire began in the kitchen of Betty Bombers, melting their commercial size freezer and damaging the room. The fire also caused smoke damage to most of the building. This is all our own money. Um, it's all our own blood, sweat and tears. Including the American Legion Post, which rents out the space to the local eatery and bar. Musler hopes they'll only be closed for maybe a month. It all depends on how fast the insurance side of things go. There has to be an assessment done, then it's a cleanup, and then a rebuild. Musler and Crumbling say without the help from other business owners in the area, there's no way they could continue to operate the two Butterhead Greens restaurants. Everyone's been really supportive about, you know, what happened and helping us get back on our feet and everything. Uh, this is our main kitchen for our two other sites. Musler says it's not only B. Matthews helping out, but several other restaurants are offering their kitchen services as well. I'm Brandon Lavornia for WJCL News, working for you.